Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by the channel once again. If this is your first time visiting, welcome to the channel and I hope you enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, please uh, check out the other videos on this channel. There's more than 400 other Chick Track readings out loud that you may enjoy and perhaps you can share them with other people who have not come to know Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior or perhaps they just have never seen a Chick Track before. If you would like to purchase your own Chick Tracks, please visit Chick Publications. There are plenty of current tracks available for purchase. However, the tracks I will be reading for this next month will be older out-of-print tracks um, and also some first-run trick tracks. This one, for example, is still available for purchase from Chick Publications. However, this one is 50 years old, so you will notice some differences in the text and in the artwork. I hope you enjoy them all, and if you do enjoy them, please give this video a like, please subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment down below. Today's track, Somebody Goofed. Nineteen seventy two by Jack T. Chick. Hey, that's Bobby. What happened? An overdose of reds. Is he gonna die? Stand back, please. Gasp. What a bummer. Oh no. Bobby told me he was gonna do it. I didn't believe him. Hey guys, look. Look at this, it's Bobby. Man, it gives you the creeps, doesn't it? Sob. He's better off now, kid. No more problems. That's Bobby. He's dead. Oh my God. I just can't believe it. He told me he had nothing more to live for. Now comes the great question. Where will he spend eternity? What do you mean by that? Aw oh man, that's all we need at a time like this. A fanatic. That young man will stand before his creator to be judged. If he didn't know Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior, he's e he is eternally lost. Look out, here come de judge, here come de judge, ha ha ha. Hey, I've never heard anything like this before. Do you mean I'm lost? Hebrews 9.27 All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. He will not allow sin in his presence being a righteous God. Now wait a minute. God is a God of love. He wouldn't put his creatures in a hell. There's the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. Remember? Um, yeah, but what you are saying isn't in the Bible. Romans 3.23 It's true. He is a God of love. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Come on, let's face it. The Bible is filled with contradictions. Everybody knows it. Our most modern accredited theologians admit this. It's only written by men. The Bible is God's inspired word. Those who claim it to be filled with contradictions simply do not understand it. Well, I'm not going to waste my time arguing about it. Let's go. Wait a second, my friend. I want to hear him out. Just a little more. Then we'll cut out. If I'm going to hell, how can I miss it and go to heaven? Christ, who created the universe, invaded our planet in the form of a man. By being born of a virgin. Because he loves you. He shed his blood for you and died on the cross to wash away your sins. Then he arose from the dead to become your defender, but only if you accept him as your Lord and Savior. Then you will go to heaven. John 1 3, Hebrews 1 2, John 1 10. Of all the trash I've ever heard, that takes the cake. Your religion is outdated and one of fear. It's nuts. Like you who must be locked up. It's nuts like you who must be locked up. In fact, you are a menace to our society. Ye must be born again. Son, if you accept Christ, you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. But to reject him, you have nothing to gain and everything to lose. Please read this carefully. Okay. 2,500 years from tonight, you will remember this meeting.
Let's go. I've had it. Whack. Ugh. Hey, cool it. You didn't have to work him over. He didn't do anything to you. I don't want to read this propaganda, kid. It'll make you mentally sick. Hey, but I promised the old guy I'd read that. Look, let me straighten you out. I've got all the answers. Uh, I guess he did sound a little off. A little off? Ha ha ha. He's so far off that they'll soon be feeding him under the door. He's mad. Just follow the Ten Commandments and believe in the Golden Rule and you'll be okay. Remember, God helps them who help themselves. Jesus was a great teacher, but he was only a man. Okay, I'll listen to you from now on. There is no sin. You are your own salvation. Heaven and hell are here on earth. And, hey look, there's a train coming. I don't think we should... Go ahead, you can make it. The train collides into the car. Yeah! Where are we? This is Hades, the place of the lost. You'll be here until you stand before the great white throne and be judged guilty by Christ on doomsday. Revelation 20, 12, 15, John 5, 22. But, but, can't, Je can't Jesus be my savior now? Of course not. You died in your sins. It's too late. You had your chance. Now he must be your judge. Hey, friend. Remember all those things you told me? You were wrong. You goofed. No, little buddy. I wasn't wrong. You were wrong. You didn't accept Jesus Christ as your own personal Lord and Savior. God loves you and wants you to experience peace and eternity in heaven. What you must do, admit your need, I am a sinner. Be willing to turn from sin, which is to repent. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross and rose again from the dead. Through prayer, invite Jesus Christ to come in and control your life. Receive him as your Savior and Lord. What to pray? Pray something along these lines in your own words. Dear Father, I know that I am a sinner and need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sin. I am willing to turn from sin. I now invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart and life as my personal Savior. I am willing, by God's grace, to follow and obey Christ as the Lord of my life. Did you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? If your answer is yes... Hallelujah, praise the Lord. This is just the beginning of a wonderful new life with Christ. Now, read your Bible, the King James Version, every single day to get to know Jesus Christ better. Talk to God in prayer multiple times every day. Tell others about Christ. If available, be baptized, worship, fellowship, and serve with other Christians in a church where Christ is preached and the Bible is the final authority. For more information, visit Chick Publications where you can also buy these tracks. If you, like, if you like this video and want to watch more, there's over 400 more videos just like this on this channel. And to get to know Jesus Christ better, talk to him multiple times in prayer every day and read his word, the Holy Bible, the King James Version. God bless.